G'day guys, Andrew here from Chameleon AMLF down in Albury, New South Wales and we're very proud today to bring you down to the causeway here in Albury Wodonga and showcase this base 5.2 toy hauler configuration, heaps of lockers and storage at the front, room for the side by side in the middle and two really unique and fantastic folding rooftop 10 frames here as we can see it set up. So without further ado, let's go and show you around. Alright guys, so as we look around I'll start to point out some of the standard features and some of the optional features on this, on this particular base 5.2 model. Standard, we've got the DO35 Cruise Master jockey wheel. It's the best in the industry, it's the only one we'd use. We've got the heavy duty twin, twin wheel jockey wheel, that's standard as well. This particular custo, uh, customer's option to remove the front standard spare wheel holder and we've optioned two flexor gas bottle holders in the front here. Behind that we've plumbed in dual quick connect gas outlets each side. So one of them will do the Dometic kitchen we'll see shortly. Weber barbecue on that side, we've got a Jukla hot water unit on this side and an additional spare one there for the customer what they, for what they might need to, to use that or move the Weber from one side to the other. On the front here, all our trailers come standard with our front locker box which is about a 350 litre storage unit. This particular model has been optioned up to what we call our deluxe one. It goes from a top loading box into this side, side loading box here we can see. So as we open that up, we can see we've got lots of room all the way across the trailer. We put a, a false floor through here, you've got your compressor and your reservoir from Airbag Man. We've got our full stage 4 airbag kit on this particular tandem axle trailer which allows us to flick it from a manual to an auto level, remote control, a manual settings with all our pressures. So moving back further down the base trailer here, we've got uh, two of our lockers, Goldwing lockers, the 3.0 being three of our unique anchor, anchor pitch long and a 2.0 being two pitches long, about a metre fifty and about 750 mil overall dimensions. All our lockers, all our flexor parts anchor down to our unique grid system which is across all our trailer bases and across all our ute bases. We can see here we've got a structural chassis beam coming to the edge allowing us to, to tie down to that should we not have the lockers on. On top of the lockers we can see we've optioned our roof rails and a couple of solar panels up here which are all wired back into the DC to DC we'll see on the other side. We can also see underneath some, hot, some water outlets there so this trailer's been plumbed for hot and cold water. So we open up the front Goldwing 3.0. On this side we've got a, an optional shelf at the top. We've got a shelf here in the back of the Dometic kitchen we'll see on the far side. And then we use up the rest of that space with a, a lovely little pantry drawer storage unit running through there. The 2.0 behind as we open that up. We can see again we've been optioned here with a false floor. We've got the, the shelf in there. These are all height adjustable on our Unistrut internal frame throughout the, the lockers. That's common across all our locker systems. These two boxes can actually be swapped around. They're all interchangeable. We can put one at the back of the trailer. We could have just one box on. That's a unique uh, part of our system. It's, it's very, very flexible in that respect. So all our lockers come standard with our three mil aluminium construction, Unistrut internal frame. That's across the floor, up the walls and through the ceiling of all our, all our lockers. This particular customer's optioned some, some internal fit out, which can be fitted at the time of the initial build or it can be done as a kit later on. So as we come around to the passenger side of the trailer now, we can see the same door configuration with our, our two whale tails, lovely big dust seal there, everything's double gutted, that's coming across all our lockers. This particular build's been optioned with our stage 100 amp hour lithium kit, so we've got a 100 amp hour lithium DCS battery underneath, got a, a Enerdrive DC to DC charger there, a, a 240 volt charger. We've got a couple of lights internally in the box and a nice panel there ready for some future expansion. So a really good platform to get the fridge running, get the lights running, get some USB charging, but give the customer some scope to really grow with the trailer over time. So it's a nice simple platform, but the whole structure there is exactly as we would build it if we were doing a full, a full blown electrical fit out. So a great platform for expanding, expanding and changing the way you use the trailer over time. So as we come around to the passenger side of the Goldwing Locker 3.0, this is the kitchen and where all the magic starts happening and we can see in here we've optioned the false floor, a really nice little pantry storage area here with some shelves. The Bushman 85 litre upright as we can see there, a bit of our friends at Red Bull and their product but a great little fridge, you've got a small freezer there. The uprights work really really well in these trailers where you've got a bit more height. Much like on the passenger side, we've got a driver side, we've got another small pantry drawer here which is a really useful, quite tall, it's about 330 mil deep. And then the lovely big Dometic pull-out kitchen we can see here. So this is the larger of the two Dometic slide-out kitchens. It comes with the hot and cold water tap and the sink, three gas burners through here with a self-igniter which is wired back to our house power. 
chopping boards here, a lovely big drawer. As you can see, we've got great access to the fridge from this kitchen zone. Works very well. We've got great access to our, to our pantry storage. So a really functional, really well working space with our wheel guard just behind for a bit, a bit of additional lay down area. So then to finish off the storage on the trailer, we've got the passenger side of the Gullwing 2.0 here. Again, we've got our lighting kit, we've got our upper shelf here, and we've got our false floor, just mountains of storage for all sorts of goods, no matter what it is. We can use the uni strut across the walls, we can use the uni strut across the floor, we can use the uni strut on the ceiling to tie down, to anchor things, to hang things in. So really, really usable, but great for big, large items, swags or chairs or, or, or whatever else you might have. So as we get to the rear of the trailer now, we, uh, we see a 5.2 metre load deck across the whole trailer. About 1,800 of that's taken up with our storage at the front, leaving us heaps of space on the back for all the toys or other use. In this case, we've got our good friends at Can-Am Australia with one of their new Defender Pros. We can see some great floodlights on the back of the locker illuminating the, the rear deck. Really easy to drive these things on and off. And then we've got two rooftop folding tents. This particular customer's got a, a, a young family um, one of the challenges with all the, the side-by-sides we're seeing more and more is because of their height, we can't put a frame around them. We can put quad bikes, motorbikes under our load, load, uh, load frame system, but these buggies are getting too tall. So we've come up with this flexor folding rooftop tent frame, and we've got now a rooftop tent on each side which fold down, give us great access to those tents, but importantly give that buggy a bit of protection and all the storage. So we'll drop them down now and give you a look. Right, well there we are guys. We've got a Rooftop tent on this side, we've got a rooftop tent on that side, mum and dad and the kids. I don't think there's anything like that around. We're pretty proud of what, uh, what we've done here and we're looking forward to seeing some stories of the customer out in adventure. We've got the Can-Am in the middle here. That can come on and off the trailer. We can use the airbags for level adjustment. We've got adjustable legs underneath it. We can uh, put all the flies up. Barely need a, a step ladder to get into the thing and, and we're in business. What a fantastic result. Well, that's it, guys. There it is. The Base 5.2 model, it's the first of our flexor folding tent frames. I little doubt it won't be the last of these we do. We think these are going to be really, really popular for next year. For any inquiries around a trailer like this, a smaller trailer for camping or, or a tra trailer for work, give Dave a call in the office, jump on our website, give us a message on Facebook or Instagram. We're here, we can't wait to have a chat to you and look forward to what 2021 brings.